Uh, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Why are you not updating? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's up, guys? Um, we'll see. I I see that I'm broadcasting. However, comma, I don't see that I'm broadcasting on the link that I had. So there's it's a it's up, but it's not broadcasting on the room that I thought it was, which is odd. So let me share the link with everyone because apparently the link I had on there was wrong. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm going to post this here to post, to bring all you guys over here. Um, which is odd. It's very odd. It's very strange. Um, so welcome. That's how we roll here on Keystroke Medium. It's the morning haze. There's a play on words there. Um, and basically, yeah, guy got the first comment again. Um, basically, uh, <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure what happened there. I'm, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. So, the morning haze is going to be a morning vlog um, that is going to document and follow my uh, journey into a um, basically a, a full-time writer. I haven't made that announcement officially, uh, so this is kind of my uh, official announcement for um, going full-time. And um, I thought it would be cool to document uh, that transition and then document kind of some uh, aspects of that writer's life that we talk about we don't actually see. So some of this is going to be um, talking about it and then going through process. Some of it's going to be just talking about whatever I want to talk about, um, uh, talking about uh, books I'm reading or like fun things that I found exciting throughout the week or throughout the projects uh, that I'm working on. So, um, uh, yeah, hey, thanks, Nathan. Um, this whole setup is kind of different, and so it's, it's taken me a little bit to get used to it. Hopefully, I can figure it out. Um, I don't know why that original link didn't work. Um, we'll have to figure out why that is. Um, so, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was I got this really kick-ass book from Bill, uh, Frisbee or William Frisbee as it is, um, which is writing military science fiction. Um, it's a massive, massive book. Um, and it's just like packed full of really cool, uh, interesting things to know about uh, the military, but uh, contextualized uh, in mil sci uh, sci military science fiction. Um, it's got really cool um, breakdowns of units, uh, breakdowns of like special forces operators. Um, it goes through and kind of gives you what uh, what they do and um, what their abbreviations or acronyms are. Um, it goes into like even different kind of force fields that you could have. I mean, a lot of this stuff is, is, is really, really, um, interesting to know, or like, um, like basically what's close air combat, uh, close air support. And it'll, it'll tell you what that is, um, is a really, really good resource. I've, um, Bill sent me a copy. Um, he actually sent me a couple. I'm going to give one to Scott. He doesn't know that yet. Um, but it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, I, I, in my head, I know that I know what I'm writing about when I'm doing mill sci-fi, but uh, I look at this and I'm like, God, I'm dumb. Why, why did I not have this uh, to begin with? Uh, it's a really cool cover. I'll show you. Bam, there's the cover. It's so cool that we can do overlays now. Um, and uh, I have a link for you if you'd like to go pick it up uh, and check it out yourself. I would recommend getting it in paperback. Um but, 
Um, there's the link. Post that in the chat. Um, and uh, go pick it up in paperback. If you write military sci-fi, like, it's fantastic. Uh, really, really good. So um, there is that. And then the second thing I want to talk about, which uh, before I get into kind of everything else, is uh, Kingdoms of uh, Iron and Stone. I got the second proof uh, paperback in. Um, basically, what happened with the first one is that I wanted all the artwork in the, in, the, in the book to be on the right side of the page like that. Um, but it wasn't in the first proof. And so I had to shift all of that to the right side of the book. Uh, and that increased the page count. And so I had to reformat the, uh, the exterior cover. And even here, you can see that it's a little off. Maybe you can see that it's just a tad off. Um, hmm? uh, and so I've adjusted it. But uh, it, it is processing live. A uh, Amazon is chewing on it right now. I had to adjust some things in the, uh, in the uh, what you call, KDP to get the paperback to uh, basically uh, sign off. And so it should be available later on today. Um, I should get an email, and when I do, I'll let the, the group know on Facebook. Uh, but it should be available today. Uh, it's priced at fifteen ninety nine, which is pretty much the cheapest I could make it because of how big the book is. Um, so if you want it on paperback, there you go. I'm also going to look into it. I'm not sure if I can do like author copies and then sell them. Uh, I'll have to look into that too. But it sh the paperback should be live uh, later on today. Um, so that being said, I'll kill that. Isn't it? It's so cool that we can have overlays now. Um, uh, everybody, man, thanks for coming and hanging out with me tonight, or today. <laughs> uh, I'm not drinking whiskey. I'm drinking coffee, uh, which is very strange. It's very strange. Um, hi, Julie. Hi, JR. Um, John, and I know Guy and Kayleen are there. Rick's there. Uh, a whole bunch of the regular people. Um, it's um, it's kind of weird going... Uh, full time. And just FYI, there's a, a bit of a delay with the chat. So if you say something or ask a question on something that I'm talking about, uh, I probably won't get that for like a minute or so. So if I if I go back and look and, and answer your question, like it's it's not that I'm jumping through time. It's just that it's taking a little bit of time to get to me. Uh, I am broadcasting on YouTube, but I'm using a program called Ecamm Lite. So that helps me do all the um, overlays and this neat little lower third uh thing that i designed yesterday um and uh so it's it's pretty neat we might do a couple we might do a couple lives like this because you can integrate skype into this program uh but uh so going full-time i decided that i wanted to do a blog probably going to do it three times a week um probably mm, 15 to 20 minutes a show uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, which is um, the days that I have daycare for the kids. The other two days I won't. Um, I have submitted my uh, resignation at my day job. It uh, will become officially official on the 12th of February, so next Tuesday it will be official, official, and uh, then I will be, like for sure, legit uh, a, a writer, and that's it. Um, and, but we've got a lot of cool projects, uh, coming, uh, a lot of, uh, fun things, uh, that are happening this year for me as a writer and also for, for Keystroke as well. Um, we have Wings of Redemption, which is, uh, my collab book with Richard Fox. Actually, I'll share the cover on that too, but just cause I'm cool. So let me find that real quick. Wing, Ring, Wings of Redemption, which is actually called um, uh, Redemption's Redemps. Hmm. I swear, um, this is coffee, I swear to God. It's not whiskey. Wings of Redemption, which was originally called uh, Redem Redemption's Shadow. Ha! Uh, uh, hey, thanks, Rick. Uh, I'm going to. The cool thing about this is I can post. 
uh, comments. So if you guys have questions and we want to talk about things, I can drag them up and put them in the show. And so like Rick's comments right here, I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to point, but oh yeah, there we go. It's right here. See? So that's pretty neat um, that I can post that in the in the actual video. So if you guys have questions um, or like uh, just cool comments, go ahead and type them in the chat like you're doing because I can pull those out and slap them in the video and then you'll be uh, evergreen in my videos. Um, anyway, so the Wings of Redemption is the second title, but it's still the third book in the Terra Nova series. Here is the, uh, I need to make that smaller. Look at that live editing. So, um, third book in my Terra Nova series with Richard. That's the sweet, sweet Tom Edwards cover. I'm pointing behind me, but it's actually up here. Whoop. There we go. Um, this is such a fun book to write and, um, the, the cover really kind of makes it awesome. The bloodlines cover I think was my favorite until we got this one. Uh, and then this one is now my favorite. Uh, so this book will be out tomorrow. Uh, so if you're, if you're watching on the, f not live, uh, and you're watching after February 5th, it will be live and available on ebook. Not sure about the audiobook. Um, we have to get into Luke Daniels' schedule and um, uh, I don't know when that is. We'll, we'll hear from Podium when that is. Um, so it's, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then Jul Julia says, and then you tried that title for audio and nixed it. Yeah, um, <laughs> man, it was a tongue twister, and it's so cool I can drag this around. This is neat. This is going to be fun doing this and, and uh, sharing comments and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's the cover. Uh, it'll be out tomorrow. That's really cool. I've got another cover that is that has gone out to insiders that I'm not sure that I can show, share yet. So I'll find out and maybe I can share that on Wednesday on my broadcast Wednesday. And that's for my galaxy's edge order. The Centurion novel strikers war that covers legit <laughs> legit. Um, so a lot of stuff going on. I, uh, I've got another project that I, uh, that I'm working on, uh, with those that I can't talk about. Um, but, uh, this morning I got almost 3000 words on that project. And, uh, after I finish this broadcast, I'm going to be jumping into Terra Nova four, which part of this, uh, vlog is going to cover process and how I write. And we've talked about that. I'm a big outliner on the show and, um, talked about, uh, how I build from an idea to outline to drafting and then to full draft. And for a couple projects, uh, as we go through the year, I'll actually be able to go from planning stage to outline stage to draft stage and kind of share that and um, bring you along that process with me. So today is kind of like um, the... Yeah, Julie says I'm going to need a top secret overlay. Um, I'm definitely going to need a top secret overlay um, because there's so many super secret projects. Uh, actually, I only have one. I only have one super secret project that I can't talk about, and uh, uh, the other ones I'm I'm free to talk about. I just don't know that I can share the cover yet. Uh, so I will find out from Jason if I can, and then when I can, I'll share it with all of you guys. Um, I have Terra Nova 4 that I'm starting today, uh, and then uh, after Terra Nova 4 is done, I will be starting on my Renegade series with Jeff Cheney. Uh, we've come up with some really cool characters for that and, and a really cool plot line. Uh, the, basically, the pitch for that series is, um, I hesitate to say Firefly Slash because everybody is trying to do Firefly uh, type stories. That's my favorite type of uh, sci-fi story to write. Um, but it's 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 basically like the usual suspects in space. 
Um, if you've ever seen the Usual Suspects movie, that's kind of what I'm uh, trying to mirror here with my uni- uh, Renegade story. And uh, Scott actually has a Renegade story that's releasing sometime in the next week or so, I think. Um, and his is basically uh, Escape from New York uh, in the uh, in the Orion universe or the uh, Renegade universe. So that'll be coming. Um, so part of uh, the broadcast is going to be, like I said, talking about Firefly slash fiction. Yeah, it's like a uh, it's like a uh, Rick Partlow says Firefly slash fiction, like like it's a slasher type movie, like Firefly serial killer. Yes, almost exactly like that, but not quite. Uh, so part of the um, show, I want to talk about process. And so what I've done is let me get here and then <laughs> uh, look at this. Look at this. What we can do away with that. There we go. Okay. So um, part of the cool thing about this broadcast is that I can share my screen and still have me up there so you can see what's going on. And um, uh, this is, uh, I got permission from Richard to talk about uh, some stuff going on in Terra Nova 4 and kind of go through um, the planning and then outlining stage. Uh, as you can see here, <laughs> I went like all secret like CS, uh, CIA redacting uh, because there was one particular plot line that Richard said I couldn't talk about. And so uh, these are the idea, ideas for the book, but the plot line that I can't talk about, I have redacted. <laughs> so, um, yes. So there's redacted things in here that uh, those sections of the story when we get to, uh, I can't talk about. Because it's a surprise, okay? Um, so, what this is the original doc li- document that we, we worked on uh, together. We called each other on the phone and worked on a Google Doc um, and, and worked out one of the ma- some of the major plot points for Terra Nova 4. Uh, we don't have a, a title for it yet. Um, and then went through and kind of made... Uh, abbreviated plot points for the story from beginning to end. Um, and then what Richard does is well, this is, this is going to be JR's favorite part of the broadcast. Um, because, uh, the, yeah, the heavily redacted file was released to the press. That's right. Um, this, so this is my Scrivener. Um, this is my Scrivener file for the Terra Nova universe. Um, this is, um, so, uh, this is Redemption Shadow the way I wrote it. Um, and I don't know that I've showed this before, really. But you can see here that these are the different character arcs. Um, uh, this is uh, Carson and Jerry. This is Jared Hale. This is Hale and Martell. And this is Mac. Who Mac is a, uh, a brand new character. And uh, he's my favorite of this book. So when, when you guys start reading, you're going to have to let me know what you think of Mac. Because he's my favorite. Um, and so then what you can do is we broke that down into scenes from our outline. And then I generated the scenes from that. Uh, and then we put all those scenes back together in order. These are all written in... Uh, arc order like I've talked about before not chronological order and they're color coded so that um, when I I went I copy and paste them up here and then slot them in where they're supposed to be narratively and then I can look and see what color is there and if I have four or five scenes that are red uh, and then a, a green and then a yellow and then a blue then I know that I need to move some stuff around organizationally to make it flow or that I'm not too heavy on one character and light on another and in a different part of the book. Um, so that's, um, the third, uh, Terra Nova book. Then I've got all my, uh, this is all my documents for like, um, uh, you know, where different things are at, like, uh, just, background information, um, the cast and all their information, like who's where, what does what, like I can just pull that up really quick and look and see, 
um, where everything is at and, and what I need to keep track of. So anyway, now we are on to turn number four. So this is the outline that uh, Richard has given me, and I don't want to scroll down too far or uh, leave it on too far because I haven't redacted that one. So I will redact that one for next time. But basically, um, and I think <laughs> this page is okay. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is in this document here, I'm going to add a folder, and I'm going to call that TN4 because we don't have a name yet. So if you guys think of any cool names, uh, that'd be fun. Uh, then we're going to split it, and then we're going to do the outline here. And I wonder if I can stretch that out a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be the research doc, and this is going to be the draft doc. And so when we go to write, um, we can say like the first seen here is going to be Carson on the Zeiss homeworld. So we can say Carson on Yalara, because that's the Zeiss homeworld. I think that's how we spelled it. Maybe it's only one R. <laughs> there we go. We'll do it like that. We'll fix it if we need to. And then, yeah, classified. Uh, then we can move this Copy over here, and we'll match style because if you, I don't want to port the um, formatting from the outline. So then we can bring that into this document, and I know what I'm going to write, and then I can just write from there. Like this is the scene. <laughs> oh, I like that turnover for redacted justice. See, Drew Vera had a really good uh, title, redacted justice. I like that. Write that down. Thanks, Drew. Uh, you're going to get a, a fee, like a finder's fee for that. It'll be like, I don't know, two cents or something. Uh, so then what I'll do is I'll, I'll just start fleshing this out and figure out what we need um, for the scene. Like, how do we set it up, blah, 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 and then I'll write through that. Um, and then when I go to do like, this is part of that scene probably. So I can include that. This is part of that scene probably. So I can include it. Normally what we do is we break it down with bracket is a scene. And then the outline underneath it is what we need to fit into that scene. Um, and then this other bracket would be another scene. So when I go to do that, I'll add another text file and go Carson goes home. And then I will bring same thing. Bring this over there. Copy. Paste and match style. Um, we need to delete that and delete that. And then I can flesh that out. It's kind of like a, a uh, modified snowflake method because the outline is, I don't even know how long the outline is. Uh, 3,000 words. So we're going to take a 3,000 word outline and write about 110,000 words, which I've got that uh, right here in my word counter. So uh, if I want this done book to be done by the 15th of April, then I need to write 1,500 words a day to get to my 110,000 word mark. And that's the goal. Um, so uh, then I will go through and, and write and, and go through and, and follow these plot threads out. And, and basically what I'll do is I'll take everyone and I'll, I'll do a very brief, this is where we're at, this is what's going on, this is how we're going to do this, and then I'll go and do the next one, the next one, the next one. And then I'll, I'll color code it so I can, let's get rid of the outline real quick. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. So we've got the inspector, and I can go label, and I can label this Carson. So in my binder here, I can see that it's red, and it's Carson. And what I'll do is probably do, we do kind of uh, short chapters in Terranova, so I'll do 1,500 word, 1500 words for the chapter length. And so there we go. We can see that it's 1,500 words, and obviously it's a first draft. Well, then when we go here and look here, um, I can drop this down and, oh wait, I need to do something else. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. 
need to add a folder. Call that folder Carson. Bring it up here and then bring these two into Carson. And so then what I can do is go total word count and total target. And so like this one will be 1500 words as well. I've got the Incredibles theme song stuck in my head. Dun, 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 dun. The, uh, the Incredibles uh, 2 came out. So then when I go up and click on the, the Terra Nova 4 folder, I can see the Carson folder. I can see that it's labeled Carson. I can see that it's a first draft. It's a, and there's 70, 78 words that I've written in it already, but technically that's not true. And so far the target is 3000 words because uh, this one's 1500 and this one's 1500. So then I can go through and look at all the scenes in the outline, put those into my draft, I look at how many words that I have uh, kind of like this and see uh, like Carson and Jerry. Here, I'll break it down. This is, this is, this is how it's going to look for four when four is done. Uh, so you have the four folders, the colors, the words, the total words, and then the target. So like, for instance, Carson was over the target words. And so was Mac, uh, Jared was under and Hale was under, but that's okay because it fluctuates. Um, so that's basically what, it, what what's going to look like when book four comes out. Um, or it's done and, and I'll go through while during the vlog, um, as we go through and, um, um, kind of go through a little bit more in depth. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any writing on the blog, um, because that might be super, super boring, but maybe we'll see. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I said I wanted to do 15, 20 minutes. Um, that's we're, we're on the 30 minutes now, so it's okay. Um, I think it's going to be fun. I think this is going to be a really, really, um, interesting, um, process and, um, and yeah, I think Rick, I am an Android actually. So he says that I'm an Android to Drew. Um, and I am, uh, I think it's going to be a really fun process to talk about different things throughout the week. Uh, obviously I don't have a problem, uh, talking and I hope that you guys don't have a problem listening. Um, uh, we'll talk about some, some different things that are, that are not specific to my writing too. Like we're, we're going to have uh, some talks about, uh, you know, motivation and, uh, some, some struggles. And, you know, there are going to be some days where I'm, I might not want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And, um, those might be days that I'm having a hard time writing or whatever. And, um, uh, I don't know, we'll get through it and it, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun process to share this experience of going full time and doing this all day every day, um, uh, will look like. So yeah, guy has a good point. Send everybody to the website. So, uh, keystrokemedium.com. That is where we will have, uh, all, uh, this will be up there. All of our other shows will be up there. Um, uh, next, is it this Saturday? Yeah, it's this Saturday. Keystroke International will premiere. Um, it's not a live show, um, but it is a very good show. Um, there's three in the can right now. Uh, they're going to do a couple more. And Keystroke International is really cool. It's um, it's Ralph and John. Uh, I was on like the second episode, I think. Um, Kayleen and I and a couple people were on the, another one. Um, what they're doing is they're kind of doing a reader centric, author centric type split where they're going to talk about books. Uh, they'll pick a book to talk about at the beginning of the episode. They'll kind of break that down a little bit, and then at the back half, they're going to talk about craft or or something that has to do with writing. Like they've talked about different type of leaders that you can have in fiction. They've talked about uh, the last last episode, which is episode three, which will be probably three weeks from now um, or three weeks from Saturday. They've talked about the 
uh, seven different plot types. And so they're just picking different different uh, ideas to kind of break down and talk about. It's not live, um, but basically because Ralph's schedule is kind of so hectic um, that they're they're doing the, the pre-recorded show and that is easier for them. Uh, so here, um, starting this week, we're going to have uh, live, still on Mondays, uh, still Monday nights. Tonight we have Nicholas Sansbury smith uh, we have the writer's journey on Thursdays with Lauren and Kayleen and, um, then Keystroke International with Ralph and, uh, Devin C. Ford and John Evans. Uh, we're going to have, uh, this show, the morning haze Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and then we're getting ready to start our audiobook podcast feed, uh, which will feature one of my stories. It's going to feature a couple of Scott stories, the shorty short stories that a lot of you have read um, are being turned into an audiobook and the guy that's reading them is doing a really phenomenal job um, Chuck is uh, slowly working through a couple of the short stories he's got some construction going on at this place so every time he just sits down to record he's got like beep 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 in the background it just ruins his whole day um, but he's got some short, short stories coming up and we're gonna get those on the feed lots of lots of stuff and, and content um, to, to bring to you guys. And I think it, this year is going to be really good, um, for us as a company for exposure. And then for all of you, hopefully you learned something and, and like hanging out with us, uh, like spending time with us, whether it's on the video feed or on the podcast after, uh, if you don't, if you didn't know, we do have a podcast feed. All of the shows will be filtered through that feed. We, we considered doing separate channels, um, but doing that, we lose all of the subscribers that we already have to the Keystroke channel. So Live, The Writer's Journey, Keystroke International, all those will be on one single feed. We're still kind of throwing back the idea of how we're going to do the audiobook feed and this feed. Whether or not we put this into the audio, I don't know. Um, especially like with this episode, uh, a lot of it is visual. And so we might not put that in the audio feed. We might just leave that on YouTube and Facebook. So that's, um, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to sign off guys. Cause uh, I'm over my time. Uh, and I could probably talk all day. I do have to do some work. Um, but thank you guys for joining me this morning. I'll be back on Wednesday. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about. I haven't got that far. I've got actually a list of things that I want to talk about. Oh guys, I cannot wait until I can tell you this thing that guy and I are trying to set up for the company and for the show. It's going to be like I know that I'm leaving you guys on a cliffhanger here. I'm sorry for that, but it's cool. I just saw my note on my notebook and guy brought it up yesterday. We're trying to work it out. Um, it's going to be a cool addition to the program. We're also going to try to get on Spotify. Uh, we're on iTunes, we're on Stitcher, we're on Podbean, we're on YouTube. We're trying to get on Spotify uh, so that we hit all the, the major places where you can listen. Uh, anyway, see you guys. We will see you on Wednesday and then we'll also we'll see you tonight on live. So have a great Monday. We'll talk to you later. Bye.